40,085 kilowatt hours. I broke the off-grid project test for the solar power. It didn't work out. Sorry. Uh, you know, we had some cloudy time. Yesterday was pretty good. But My wife, she really wanted some air conditioning. Plus, the kids was playing the video games. And, I mean, how far am I going to take it away from them? where that my family can't enjoy it. I, I know that it'd work and keep the, air, the refrigerator working in worst case scenarios. Not too concerned about, you know, pushing it further. If the power did go out for a long time, I'd have a refrigerator and I'd have lights, which is exactly what you want as, as a solar guy. You know, the, that's the best way to look at it. But I'm gonna show you some stuff inside. I'm building a wind turbine project. It's great. See you in there. Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there, it's Philip 20 and I'm back. Check it out. Uh, I got a YouTube video that I'm working on here. Uh, lost one of the nuts. I'm gonna have to find that nut. That way this thing stays together good. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is build a three-phase permanent magnet motor. Here's the three wires that comes out. Anytime I spin it, it produces electricity. I'll get a meter and demonstrate that. So, I got the meter. I'll stick these in there. And we spin it. There's 84 volts right there. Not bad, right? Let's switch the other one. Seventy-six. So I'd say pretty much similar. Let's check the last one. Ninety volts, so yeah. Somewhere around 70, 80, 90 volts each time I try to spin it with my hand, which is Pretty cool. That means they're probably all the same winding. Regardless, if it's not, uh, all we need to do is put a uh, three-phase bridge rectifier in there anyways. So, I don't want to spend any money. So, I got this old fan blade. And if I put it on this way, is the normal heat pump way. But if I flip it over, it reverses it and blows down. All right, and to see the arrow, it doesn't really matter the direction when I spin it because it's not using the module that directs it only in this rotation. This is the module I cooked the other day, playing with uh, the centrifuge. But here, there we go. So it looks like we got a rotating fan. So when you when you blow on it, it rotates in this direction. So if you blow air on, it's going to rotate in that direction. It's, so we're going to figure out how good it is. But first we gotta put it together. And that means we need this. I made this block of wood uh, for, at an angle at the top. I'm going to strap the motor down to it. It gives a little bit extra airflow at an angle, probably you know, slightly more efficient uh, than if it was flat. And I got this piece of wood too. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom as well. And this is gonna attach the tail fin as well. That, you know, I'm gonna put it on the side. Yep, let's just put it on the side. I'll attach it like so. 
and we'll put that right there on the side like that the tail fin will be on the other end and this will be like so and I have to make a tail fin out of some sheet metal so let's get this done So that's nearly centered there. I'm going to take uh, two of these screws. So now we got a halfway mounted motor. Now I really mean halfway. So it's mounted and Looks okay. So what we need to do next is we need to make a tail fin out of some sheet metal. I'm gonna take my sheet metal snips. I'm gonna back the camera up just a little. We're gonna cut out a rectangle. Now I got a sheet metal tail fin. It's kind of flimsy. And we'll see how it does. Now we got a tail fin. So I want to test how much power this thing can make. How we can do that is by measuring the short circuit current. All right, so we just stick our brown wires into the blue wire, which the clamp meter is on, and any of the other two wires. And that will make it harder to turn. You can see the cogging effect. So if I short circuited the other two, it would give us twice as much cogging. And if I short circuit all three of them together, all the windings would be short circuited together. And that would, you know, act as a brake. Because this is a three phase motor. But right now it's short circuited and you can see the cogging effect and if I disconnect one of the wires you can see how quickly it turns so let's stick this back in there and it is currently short circuited again okay and we're gonna 
pull the trigger and watch the amps. Short circuited current. 2.48 amps. Now that is a good amount of amperage. Two point five amps for one short circuited circuit, and we've got three circuits that we can pull power out of this. So that means two point five amps at uh, you know zero volts current, you know zero volts, two point five amps. Uh, so there's a good chance we could probably get at least one amp per side out of this at 100 plus volts. So let's see what the voltage is real quick again. And we pulled the wire out, right? So the wire's out and we're putting it on alternating current. So we're looking at 119 volts, which is pretty good. There's ways to get it higher. It's, you know, you can use a transformer. Uh, you can use one of these things to make it, the voltage higher. Uh, and then put it on a, uh, that's a ferrite coil, I think. If I'm wrong, leave it in the comments down below. If I can pull three circuits out of this one, because it's three phase, I can put it on a three phase uh, bridge rectifier and convert it to direct current you know, I'm pulling uh, 100 amps, 100 volts, 119 volts uh, AC out of this. I'll probably get, you know, get 100 volts DC easily after the bridge rectifier. And then I can use an uh, MPPT charge controller to charge batteries with this. This is just, you know, junk I had laying in the garage. And I'm just trying to put out some content for you guys. Uh, this is nothing I ever decided to do before. But uh, Modern DIY Off-Grid uh, got me excited watching some of his videos and I wanted to go and check out what the, uh, the wind power hype is. Now, I did make another one of these. Right here it is. This one's a model 1.0. It don't have the angles on the wood except on the bag it's got the tail fin you know and it's got a different type of motor i believe that this fan blade is better because it's got three um this one i have has four and uh i think it'll start easier but this one puts out more voltage on this specific motor so what i might do is take that one put it here put this one on the other one and try again and you just say it puts out more voltage how do you know it puts out voltage it ain't got a stand on it yet well i've got a uh, turbine fan it does a pretty good job of uh, spinning it up uh, for demonstrations because you know i can pull it back and throttle the speed of this as a you know kind of an idea of what it'd be like outside and it works really well so you know i don't think these fan blades are going to work ever but it's a general idea of uh you know i can test other fan blades as i get them in the future because i've got a bunch of these motors and the only re way that i need to do to test them is mount a motor to uh you know this piece of metal put a put the fan on the shaft and put the fan blown into it because i've got several different type of fans and uh you know i can do quality control like that you know see how which one works the best so i think it's pretty cool and i hope you guys like share subscribe for this video and enjoy hello lazy to get gentlemen thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video there's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel see you next time peace